Hey you guys and dolls, I'm looking down because I'm grabbing my bottle of Plaid Joe's Homestead. It is a dessert wine, sippable dessert wine with 17% alcohol. And it's a good wine. It's not, um, it's sweet but not too sweet. It has a great flavor. I've already been drinking some. It smells like you get grapes, but you also get cherries and I want to say plums. It has the smell of that. I love the color. It's a very dark, rich red. Um, at first you taste the sweetness in those cherries. Like, there's no cherries in it, but the cherry flavor and the grapes and the fruitiness. But then it has that burn because of the 17% alcohol. So it's a very strong wine, almost like a port, but it's not, I don't think it is a port. It's similar to it where there's um, a gr greater concentration of alcohol. I wouldn't say this is a wine you pour a full glass of and, you know, drink all, drink all of it during your favorite TV show. It's more of a sippable wine after you've had your dinner. It almost smells perfumey, um, a heady aroma. It's very fragrant and it has a lot of depth to it, but the taste itself is sweet at first and then smooth and you just keep wanting to sip it. You don't necessarily want to chug it, like there's no, mm -mm, it's too strong for that, but if you sip it you can enjoy the different flavor, flavors and layers of flavor. Um, I was trying to see if like Empire had long stems and it does seem to have that which means there's like a high sugar content. Um, I still think a dry wine drinker would enjoy it because of the strong alcohol content. You're not going to feel like you're drinking fruit punch here. You're going to feel like you're just drinking a sweet wine. It has all the full body of a wine but still a sweetness to it. And for those of us who like sweet wines, this is a very tasty wine. I am currently drinking this at room temperature. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be refrigerated. I don't think so based on its color and other things about it, but it's perfect at room temperature. Great flavor, great sippable after dinner. Um, it says dessert wine, but honestly, it was one of the wines that was paired with cheese. I can imagine it with like a very hard dry cheese, like a, like a parmesan almost. That's just me. I'm sure it pairs well with like a sweeter cheese as well. So think about it that way. Um, it would be a fun, you know, if you're doing a party wine cheese tasting with your friends, that would be really cool to try. So Homestead Plagido's Winery. Thank you so much guys and dolls. See you later.